Another typical electrical drawing that you'll come across when you're working with AutoCAD Electrical is what they call a logic ladder drawing. Normally associated with the American JIC electrical standards, and normally drawn in imperial units because obviously it's working in America where they tend to use imperial units for most of their CAD drawings. Working files wise I'm in Demo 05 project in the project manager but this time I've got the drawing Demo 04 open. So what I've got here is a typical logic ladder drawing. It's very different from a point to point drawing that we saw previously. Here's the ladder, can you see there one and two? And all of these red lines going across are the rungs of the ladder. And what you do there is you join from one side of the ladder to the other. So if I zoom in nice and tight now, and just pan a little bit here, let's just get this so that we can see what's going on. There we are, so we can see the ladder. Now something you'll notice are these numbers here. 406, 407, 408. They are the ladder rung numbers, and you use this command here. If I click on the fly out there, I've got insert ladder. And what you do is you set up a special grid setup for ladders. You'll notice you've got XY grid setup and X zone setup. We'll cover those later, but those particular setups are important when you're setting up ladders in AutoCAD Electrical. So your ladder drawing, you're going from one side here, going all the way across to the other side. So you can see there, look, that's linking to safety relay number one, safety relay number two, and so on. If I zoom in a bit more though, you can see that the setup is very similar to a point-to-point -point schematic. So this is a logic ladder schematic, and you've got a point-to-point -point schematic. But all you're doing is laying out the circuitry in a different way. So you can see you've got things like switches, junction boxes, you've still got your wire numbers, you've still got your tags here. So I can select junction box one, right click there, I can edit the component if I want to. If I edit the component using that right hand menu, there's the symbol name, it's a terminal. I can add, modify the properties and associations on the terminal. I can change the tag strip, the location, and so on. I'm not going to, but I can go in and edit that information at any time. You must use the editing tools in AutoCAD Electrical though. This is all linked to the AutoCAD Electrical database, and you must use the tools provided. Don't just go in and use the AutoCAD text editing tools to change a wire number or a junction box number. And don't explode the blocks either because they are all linked, automated with parametric tools and block attributes and so on. The whole idea of this is to make your life easier. You will make your life much more difficult if you explode things in a typical AutoCAD electrical drawing. So I'll just double click there on the wheel now to zoom extents and again show you the entire drawing. So there's one logic ladder there and there's one logic ladder there. And you'll notice from the numbering, if I look at the bottom rung, that's at 418 and goes to 420. If I zoom out now, pan and zoom in here, there you go, there's 420 there and it tells you that it starts at 418. So what you can do is you can split the ladders as well and number them accordingly. So I put one ladder in there and tell it to number from 401 right there. And then this one, I'll tell it to start at 419. So it allows you to obviously work with these tools such as logic ladders by placing the components going across from one side of the ladder to the other as rungs. And the good thing is each rung is numbered. You have a reference. Point to point, you're literally drawing the circuit as you go from one point to the next point using what they call connectors to link into the main wiring. So that's another typical AutoCAD electrical drawing, this time a logic ladder drawing.